Well, hello there, welcome back. A lot of stuff's changed. Obviously, we're in a new space here. Uh, I don't have a beard anymore, which is kind of wild, uh, but you don't care about that. All you care about and the reason that you're here is that you wanna learn some fun inking tips, and we're gonna give those to you right after we roll this intro. Okay, so, you know, first things first, where the heck am I? We bought a house last year in this insane market, which is stupid. And I kind of finally feel like this office home studio has come together enough that I'm like, I can record a video here. And I'll probably do that video here in a little bit, but I didn't want to just like start off with that video because it seems like, welcome back after, you know, six months of radio silence. Here's my space without any tips for you guys. So. I uh, wanted to kind of uh, come in hot with, you know, some some inking hot takes. Cold takes, medium warm, lukewarm, lukewarm inking takes. That's that's why you subscribe to this channel. Uh, my name is Scott Drummond. I'm a comic artist and illustrator. I, uh, you know, do a comic called Night Smoke. Uh, I also do uh, illustrations for board games like Marvel uh, Crisis Protocol and Marvel Champions. But, but that's not why you're here. You're here to help you improve your comic art. So let's kind of get right into it. Uh, the first tip and the title of this video, I think, is what I'm going to title it, is to stop inking for your flats. And what the heck does that mean? What do I mean by that? When you ink for your flats, I think that you are basically closing in every shape, right? So let's, uh, you know, jump into an example, right? All right, so here's a quick rough sketch of, you know, David, I main character from Night Smoke, you know, super, super rough, you know, didn't want to go too deep into this, but sort of what my example would be if we wanted to ink this in the way that I'm not wanting to do, I would basically be closing all of the, you know, my lines in, right? So um, let me show you how, what I mean by that. Now, obviously this is super rough, right? Like I'm not gonna try to spend a ton of time on this, but what I mean uh, to say is that if you're inking like this, what you're worried about is that when you go to flat the colors, that the flats will then automatically like close in, right? So if I wanted to go and, f and flat this, right? I would have, you know, make a new layer and go in and do, you know, the close and fill. Oh wait, no, refer other layers, this is what I want. There we go. You know, you kind of go through and go, okay, this is great. You know, th how easy. This is such a, you know, nice, easy way to flat. And it is, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like this is such an easy way to flat. Like it's hard to begrudge anybody for like wanting to do it this way, but it doesn't make for interesting inks unfortunately. So where on the other hand, if you kind of open up your inks and basically let them breathe a little bit and don't close in every single space, it will help your inks a ton. Let me show you what I mean by that. We're going to start off kind of the same way. It just helps me sort of establish shapes basically. However, once you kind of get to this point, I like to open it up a lot. Difference being like in, especially in like the hair, I don't like to have that hard line that you see in this version right here. Like this is not, I hate this, I hate this line. So instead, what I'll do is I'll just kind of go down here and kind of create a hairline sort of by suggestion, kind of by where all those lines end up, right? You can kind of do the, you know, this down here so it, it feels a little bit more structured. And you can pull this, you know, forehead out a little bit into that. So you can kind of keep that going a little bit. Same thing here with the eyes, right? Like I don't want to connect the bottom of this eye here. I want to keep that open so it feels, you know, a little bit looser and not as, you know, confined. You know, even back here, I might do something like that. So like his, his eyebrows feel like they're a little bit more kind of wispy towards the end, you know, and stuff like I don't want to connect maybe the bottom part of 
his lips here, or his mouth. You know, even like keeping something like that open could be interesting. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. And, you know, obviously this makes it harder to flat um, ever so slightly. Like you can't just click and, and make it work. But um, I think it gives a way better, more professional looking um, result. You know, when you kind of just suggest that shapes connect, but they don't actually connect, it, it makes it a lot uh, cleaner, a lot more interesting. Uh, for, for a person to look at. Uh, the second thing, I, mean, I I said this in a ton of videos, is, oh my gosh, like, please use more spot blacks. I've kind of got a little bit of it going here, um, but, you know, you can kind of see from where I've, you know, made this shadow over here, you can, I, you know, if I wanted to go kind of crazy here and just, cut off his whole side of his face here, I definitely could. Like, create some really nice, oops. I guess that's what I'm talking about, not, you know. Um, thinking for the flats, so there we go. So, fill in some of your your blacks here so you can kind of get some really nice you know contrasty shapes you know create some cool moods you know obviously this isn't going to work for everything um but it can be it can make a really big difference in um you know how your your work is perceived and how your your lighting is perceived like even this it doesn't look crazy like it like it we just threw a ton of black on this and it doesn't look like it's like, oh my gosh, she's completely in the dark, right? Because you can kind of see where the light is and you know, it doesn't look like his face is completely in shadow. And then the last kind of thing I'm gonna talk about too, how do I wanna put this that doesn't sound mean? Because I'm being mean to myself, I promise, because I do this. I'm not, I promise I'm not being mean to you. I'm being mean to me because this is what I want to do. Is stop being so sloppy with your hatching. What do I mean by that, right? So, like, let's say I, uh, you know, wanted to have, you know, a shade, you know, kind of go up here, right? Like, it's darker down here and it's lighter up here, right? So, what you could do is just be re, re, really sloppy and do like this kind of thing and call it a day. This looks terrible, like this looks so bad. Um, so what I would impress upon you and also myself, and I challenge myself to do better about this, is to not be impatient, a big part, I am very impatient, and you know, be smart about your hatching. Uh, and when you hatch, try to go from um, the thin to the thick as well. And I think that looks, way nicer than by just blah, scribble, 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 scribble. You know, and I kind of was doing something similar over here and over here. But basically the idea is just you just kind of go, you know, don't cheap out on it. You know, there's a way to do it that's, that looks nice and looks correct. Because these will make it look so much nicer in the end. And if you are you know, and, it, and it look, even if they look like they're speed lines, like, and they're, they're done like so fast and crazy, like the truth is that they were probably done with, with a lot of care, probably overdoing those inks, you know, to be honest, but I just kind of want to show you what I'm thinking about. So, um, yeah, that's sort of the idea. That's kind of the, the quick video, the quick and dirty video that I wanted to throw up here and see what you guys thought say hello i know it's been a minute it's good to be back it, good, it feels good to be making videos it feels good to be you know doing all this kind of stuff again i'm excited for this new year i think 2022 things are going to turn around we'll see who knows maybe not i'm obviously not a predictor of the future I'd kind of show hey you know 2020 let's rock this stuff 2020 let's rock this stuff 2020 let's rock this stuff also, we're super close to like 8,000 subscribers, which is totally crazy. 
Um, so thank you so much. That's amazing. If you like these kinds of videos and want to, you know, hang out with me while we do some drawing this year, I think it's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, just hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the like on this video. Hopefully YouTube decides that I can show up in your algorithms and we can kind of, you know, hang out some more. So, yeah. Okay, so what is this? I had this idea, I've been watching a lot of the JHS show. JHS is a company that makes guitar pedals. They're based here in Kansas City where I am and they're kind of a cool little boutique pedal company but uh, they have this amazing YouTube channel where they kind of talk about the history of guitar pedals, of guitar sounds, amps, you know, things like that. It's really interesting. I'll leave a link to their stuff in the description down below. But at the end of their episodes, they do this thing called record time. And so I was like, I love this idea. I love the idea of like recommending stuff to you, which they recommend records and I could recommend comic books to you that have maybe something to do with the theme of the, you know, topic that I was talking about. Maybe not sometimes, but that's sort of the idea here. I'm calling it Comics Corner just because, I don't know, like, sounds alliteration-y, and I know we're not really in a corner. I guess there's a corner here. This is a corner. This is the Comics Corner right here, currently. So what do we have first, uh, the first recommendation for Comics Corner? Is this. This is a weird looking book, right? Uh, Look at, look at all this amazing matte to, you know, glossy finish we've got going on. That's incredible. Um, this is a book uh, called Grass of Parnassus by Catherine Eminen and Stuart Eminen. Uh, they put this up on Instagram for a while. It's amazing. I'll link that below as well as the link to purchase the book. Um, but this book is awesome. Uh, it is a wild ride of basically exploring this uh, space station called Grass of Parnassus and just little vignettes of weird stuff that goes on inside of it. Uh, it's got a cool little making of feature at the end, you know, where he got, goes through and you see some scripts and some notes and some, you know, kind of initial uh, process stuff, which is really interesting. but. You know, I'm always, you know, if you know me at all, if you know this channel at all, I'm a huge fan of Stuart Eminem's work. Uh, I think his uh, stuff is incredible. Um, one of the best modern living comic book artists. He's just, you know, blows me away every time. Um, and he does a lot of the stuff that I've been talking about. You know, a lot of the tips that I was talking about in the video today were kind of crewed from, you know, doing studies of his work. Uh, so I thought it was only fitting that one, I shout him out uh, as inspiration for these tips, as well as be the first Comics Corner recommendation. So, Grass of Parnassus, check it out. It's an awesome book. You should totally read it, totally buy it. Go out and grab it. And that's really about it. Thanks so much for watching. Now get out there and make some great comics.